So should you really write your own game engine? The short answer is yes. But the real answer is it depends. So let me explain. So to begin with, why should you listen to me? I've worked in both indie and AAA. I've seen what hiring managers look for. I know what I look for. I've hired interns, reviewed portfolios, and I've also made the mistake of writing my own engine when I probably shouldn't have. So I've seen both sides of this. If your goal is to land a technical position at a AAA company or to seriously impress a smaller company, then yes, you should really write your own game engine. But not because the world needs another renderer or a custom physics engine that's slightly worse than Box 2D. It's not about reinventing Unity or Unreal from scratch. That's a massive project and most likely not a good use of your time. It's about showing that you can tackle really difficult problems and build systems from the ground up. When someone sees that you have written your own engine, or even just core pieces of one, what they really see is that you understand architecture, problem solving, and all the trade-offs that comes with engine development. It shows that you can think like a systems engineer and not just a gameplay programmer. For example, maybe you built your own scene graph, or you implemented asset streaming to handle large open worlds. Maybe you even wrote your own job system and managed multi-threading, or created your own uh, anti component system because of the off-the-shelf ones didn't meet your needs. Maybe you made your own debug UI because you needed better tooling. All of those are impressive, not because they're flashy, but because they are somewhat hard. They show discipline, persistence, and a deep technical understanding. Compare that to yet another Unity project with a generic character controller and a couple of particle effects. One of those stands out, the other one doesn't. So yes, you should definitely write your own engine, or at least part of one. If your goal is to stand out as a serious technical developer, it's less about the end product and more about thinking and the engineering that went into it. But if your goal is to release a game on Steam and you don't have any serious technical restrictions, then just use Unity or Unreal or Godot or any other pre-made engine. Seriously, don't overthink it. These engines exist for a reason. They have been battle tested by thousands of developers across all genres and platforms. They come with tools, workflows and optimizations that would take you years to build on your own and even longer to polish. So why would you, the local buffoon, think you can do better than some of the world's best engineers? Want to build a level editor? Already there. Need an animation tool? Already there. Cross-platform? Check full physics engine, lighting systems, UI tool? All built in. You also get access to a massive ecosystem. Asset stores, third-party tools, tutorials, forums, full of developers who have run into the exact same issue that you have, that alone can save you hours, even days. Maybe even weeks. And most importantly, you can focus on what actually matters in this case, your game. Because unless your game is the engine, your players don't care how you build it. They care about how it plays. They care about the art, they care about the story, the feel and the mechanics. Nobody left a Steam review saying, wow, the memory allocation in this game was custom and efficient. But they will leave one if your game crashes, looks unpolished or never gets finished. <laughs> Using a mature game engine lets you move faster, prototypes idea quickly, polish your visuals and actually ship something in time. And if you're an indie dev, that's basically everything. So trick you into thinking you need to reinvent the wheel. You should only do it if your goal is actually learning and having a portfolio piece that can really stand out. Or if you need it for a technical reason. So that's it for me. See you in the next one.